I would definitely be on the lookout for every single one of these brands because they could really bring you some good profit. My name is Alicia and I recently started sharing my journey as a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app here on YouTube. And today I wanted to talk to you about 20 hottest denim brands that are selling on Poshmark for $50 and up, even over $100. So this is definitely a video that you want to stick through because I will be telling you some valuable information today that uh, will definitely help you out in your reselling business. So so if that is something that you're excited about, I would definitely give it a thumbs up. It would help me out so much and I would love to keep providing you guys with this kind of information. And I may be looking at my phone just because it gives me a little bit more information. So let's just go ahead and start with the trends. What's trending, what's going to be selling, what's sought after, and what sells fast. So basically the trends that are super, the trend that is super in right now is the vintage high-waisted straight jean, 70s kind of style flares. I would say skinny jeans, I would definitely keep still keep an eye out for them just because um, a lot of people still prefer them and I really don't think that they're gonna be going out of style uh, anytime soon so I would definitely you know pick up skinny jeans as long as they are you know in great condition and they are high-waisted all right so in my opinion a good high-rise is about 10 10 and a half 11 inches long sometimes they're even 12 inches so what I do is I take a measuring tape and I measure with my hand okay so I try to measure up to like 10 and a half to 11 inches okay so I have my measuring tape right here so what I do is I take my hand and I go as far as I can with my pinky and my thumb and I measure this takes me all the way down to 8 inches so what I do is kind of like a little spider <laughs> and then I keep going and I know that one and a half of these is about 10 and a half to 11 inches 12 so that is definitely something that i keep in mind every time i go to the thrift store and that usually helps me out on deciding whether it is a good high rise or not okay so super high rise denim rigid denim is really in style right now especially the 100 percent cotton and i would definitely tell you a little bit more whenever i get into these brands so that way you know what to look for whenever you're sourcing all right so the first brand we're going to talk about is mother so what mother is known for is for their very stylish classy sleek look they have like ankle crop jeans with like raw hems and the way you can recognize this is they have an M on the pocket and these jeans usually retail between a hundred to two hundred dollars a little bit more sometimes mother jeans are very well made with great fabrics and it's also really soft materials so that's why it is so popular and a lot of people like to pay up for them so I would definitely keep an eye out for mother jeans of course you want to make sure that you are staying within the trends the high-rise you know the raw hem and make sure that whenever you're picking it up it's in pretty good condition and there's no damage I would definitely check around uh, the belt loops whenever you go sourcing that's usually what I do make sure that neither of the belt loops are ripped off the next brand I want to talk to you guys about is girlfriend denim okay so this brand is mostly inspired by vintage jeans and this supermodel style back in the 90s so they definitely uh, try to carry around like the more retro look and these definitely have a lot of the rigid denim which is hundred percent cotton which is super sought after right now you know around these days because the straight lip the Levi's and all that stuff so girlfriend definitely tries to bring back all of that vintage retro style and I will make sure that I put right here the tags of you know the brands and how they look like so that way you can get a visual of them sometimes it helps me out it helps me out a lot actually I'm more of a visual learner they also describe their brand as timeless form flattering as well as having the most desirable washes when it comes to like the colors and the fabric so this is definitely a brand that I would keep keep an eye out for they usually retail for around a hundred to over two hundred dollars sometimes and they hold their value very well so you will also be able to flip it for a pretty good profit so the next brand that we are going to be talking about is Legends or Lodge Legends so what it says in their website is that they're designing to inspire your life with a California lifestyle with a French attitude. It's definitely another brand that is super sought after and it can sell per for pretty good money. It says they are committed to timeless products that earn and retain customers loyalty. And these are also high quality jeans that retail for over $200 sometimes. And they can also sell on Poshmark from $50 all the way up to $100 or more. So I would definitely keep an eye out for that brand as well. The next brand we're gonna be talking about is called Good American and this was actually founded by Khloe Kardashian and their mission is to make really stylish pieces with some 
substantial fabrics of very great quality and they're starting from double zero all the way up to 24 so it's really cool because they are focusing on trying to provide these items to every single size out there so good american is definitely a very sought after brand and these usually retail for over a hundred dollars and they can keep their value very well so far in my whole reselling career i have not found good american yet but it's definitely on my bucket list and i can't wait i will probably die whenever i find it <laughs> all right so the next brand we're going to talk about is called one teaspoon and this is a really cool brand i actually want to pair so bad for myself just because these are the coolest jeans. They're very effortless. You could literally just throw them on and that's basically one of their missions is to make it look like you just threw something on and you're cool, you're good for the day because they make them to where they look like super cool, like rebellious, really distressed, super cool styles. They call it the epitome of cool. So sometimes it says one teaspoon and sometimes it says one by one teaspoon. These could be sold at Free People or Revolve, at Nordstrom Rack, and depending on the style, they can actually resell on Poshmark from $50 up to $75 or more. So one teaspoon is definitely another brand to keep in mind. And to be honest, going hand in hand, and I'm putting this one right after one teaspoon just because R13, retails for so much money. Okay, so R13 describes their style as drawing upon the 90s, grunge girl nostalgia, and punk references. So they make their pieces with some really high quality denim. They sell some really cool leather jackets or leather and denim jackets. Sometimes they mix it up and they're so, so cool. They have the coolest styles, rebellious as well, like one teaspoon, but you know, these ones retail for a lot more. They retail from like 300 to like all the way up to thousand dollars and their leather jackets and denim jackets retail for so much i will actually go ahead and post a picture right here that kind of shows you a little bit like how high they go in their prices they have super edgy distressed really unique pieces and i love how they mix sometimes you know like leather with their denim jackets and their denim jeans this stuff that they sell can be definitely great statements so i would always keep an eye out for r13 so the edgier the more rock and cool and unique they look uh, the better for you because you could definitely uh, resell them for a lot more from like $75 all the way up to $100 or more so R13 is definitely a great great brand that I have yet to find but it is still on my bucket list as well next one we're gonna be talking about is called Mousy Vintage or Mousy this brand actually sells on Revolve and they retail for over $300 and they also have that really cool distressed look they have some really unique pieces um, with a lot of like personality and they're really sought after around this time mousy jeans actually uh, resell on Poshmark for over a hundred dollars all the way up to two hundred dollars I haven't found mousy yet but I am definitely on the hunt and once I find it it's gonna be another one of those like R13 or one teaspoon or stuff like that I'm gonna be super excited about it next brand is called redone so re slash done they take the vintage jeans so like Levi's mostly and they try to redo them and to better more sought after styles and they're providing the exact same great quality so redone actually retails from $200 and up as well over up to over $300 so they keep their value very well and these are actually reselling on Poshmark from $100 and up all the way up to over $300 because there is some that retail for over $400 so if you find a pair of redone denim I would definitely pick it up I'm actually at this point regretting not picking up a pair of redone that I have found I found them at Goodwill one day and I actually found four different amazing super sought after brands but I did not pick these up because they had a couple stains and I'm really regretting it because I could have probably taken them out and I went to the same Goodwill um, like a week later and they were gone next brand we're gonna be talking about is called a Goldie a Goldie okay so a Goldie is a premium denim label as well um, that retails for over a hundred dollars and it could also also sell on Revolve. They get their inspiration from like vintage classic jeans and they kind of like turn them into like the more current styles and trends which makes them very sought after as well and they can sell from like $75 all the way up to $100 on Poshmark. Okay the next brand we're going to be talking about and this is also sold in Revolve. It's called We Wore What and We Wore What actually just did a collaboration with 
Joe's jeans as well. So if you know Joe's jeans, they, they just made a collaboration with them. Their mission was to make fashion forward looks and smart functionality. I actually just found some overalls the other day by We Were What. They took him down from the one of the new racks and I immediately picked it up. All of their pieces are super stylish. They're very, very trendy and they're definitely very sought after. They make some really cool pieces and you can sell them on Poshmark from like $50 all the way up to $100 depending on the style and um, what they are. Another brand that is sold on Revolve is called Silver Lake Denim. So Silver, blah, blah, blah. Silver Lake Denim. It's funny because I found this pair that same time that I found the redone jeans that I left and I did pick these ones up. I actually had no idea about this brand. I've never seen it before. I've never even heard of it before. They sell for over $200 up to $300. So that was definitely a great find and uh, one that I would keep an eye out for. And these are actually selling on Poshmark from $75 up to $100 or more. So the next brand that we're gonna talk about is called Reformation Jeans. And you probably have heard about Reformation Jeans before, but basically they make your butt look really good. And and they have a lot of really trendy styles as well. So anything Reformation really, like I've sold their dresses, their swimsuits, and um, even the jeans. Every single one of those items have sold so fast. So that is definitely a brand that I would keep an eye out for is Reformation jeans. You could resell these from like $50 up to like maybe $75 or more. They're basically really form flattering. That's why people love Reformation is because they are very form flattering and they have great styles. Next up is Frame Denim. So Frame Denim actually reminds me a little bit of Mother Jeans. So they have really high quality, again, sleek, very classy uh, styles. So they are definitely very sought after because their fabric is also very comfortable and they're very flattering. So Frame can actually retail for over $200 as well well and they do keep their value pretty good so if you were to sell it on Poshmark let's say they're very trendy high rise or they're like super flares or something like that they can sell from like $50 up to $75 or more next brand is called Madewell and with Madewell they've been out for a while so you do want to make sure that it's either a newer style up to date it could also be a bread and butter brand so again depending on the style and how trendy they are I would definitely consider looking up the comps before you pick them up I would definitely stick with higher rise if you're looking for Madewell or you know their overall sell very well they can sell for quite a bit of money from like $75 up to over $100 so if you do find Madewell overall definitely make sure that they're in great condition next up is Adriano Goldschmidt so AG by Adriano Goldschmidt these kind of remind me of Madewell a little bit because it could be uh, bread and butter as well as you could also sell it for a little bit more depending on the style again. And whenever you pick up a Drano Goldschmied, I have found a few that I have not picked up because they always have like the little stretch right around the crotch area. But if you can find them in great condition and it's a desirable style, you could definitely sell them from like $25 all the way up to $70. Um, so Adriano Goldschmidt is really sought after. They're very, very comfortable, very soft jeans. And like I said, they're kind of stretchy. So people do like to wear them out, but it's definitely another brand to keep in mind whenever you go sourcing. Okay, the other brand I want to talk about is called Drift wood and driftwood could actually sell on anthropology or it could sell at free people as well as the sundance catalog and they're very well known by all of their heavy embroidery so if you can find them in good condition or with a really heavy embroidery i would definitely pick it up because you could resell them from like 50 dollars um, up to 75 dollars and my battery is about to die so i'm gonna try to hurry up because i want to get this video up so um, i'm gonna go through a couple of other brands the next three that i'm gonna mention they're very high bolos they can definitely bring you a lot of profit i would keep in mind alice and olivia which is AO and Isabel Morant, as well as Doen. Doen kind of reminds me of like the Sundance catalog. So, all these three brands, Alice and Olivia, Isabel Morant, and Doen, they can be a little bit more of a rare find, but if you find them, definitely pick them up because you can flip them for a pretty good amount of money. And the last one is Rock Revival, which I kind of underestimated the value of Rock Revival because they are still selling for up to like from $75 up to $100. So if you find 
rock revival especially with the heavy beading in the back i would definitely consider picking it up because people love that brand just make sure that they're in good condition like i said and yeah don't underestimate the value of rock revival because they can still sell for quite a bit of money so that was it for today you guys i hope you learned something new i really hope that i was able to provide you with some you know valuable information and maybe this will help you out with your reselling business bring you in some good profits make some money so if this is something that you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up i would really really appreciate it thank you so so much for your support and i will see you guys next time Bye.